reception and we would like you to give us your full attention. Therefore, we the cast would like you to please switch off your mobile phones. Дамы и господа, добро пожаловать. Мы работали очень сердечно над этой пьесой, и мы бы хотели бы, чтобы вы уделили нам внимание. Также мы предпочли бы, чтобы вы выключили свои сотовые телефоны, пожалуйста. You will be able to take photos and videos after the performance, and we will film the show, which will be available to you soon. Please stay seated throughout the performance. Вы можете взять фотографии после шоу. Мы снимем и смонтируем видео для вас, который будет скоро доступен. Пожалуйста, оставайтесь на своих местах во время сеанса. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the show. Спасибо, и мы надеемся, что вам понравится. Gemma. If you don't know a word, you look it up here and it tells you all about it. 
A Gemma. All about the words you've never heard of and you'll never hear. Because you spent all your time running up and down and round and round the field, trying to kick a little ball into a big net. Why don't you? A little round ball. Full of nothing but air, like your head. I keep my eyes open. Ear to the ground, Lisa. I live next door to her house. My mom saw her this morning. If you want to know more about her teacher, Lisa, here's my advice. Move into the house next door to them. Miss lives with her boyfriend, Miss Barclow does. Could be her dad, but I don't think so. He's something big in computers. He's something big wherever he is. <laughs> He's 20 stall, I reckon. The pavement creaks when he gets out of the house. <laughs> He needs two seats on the bus. <laughs> Don't blame her for not marrying him. Well, at least I wouldn't marry him. I would run around him for exercise, but I wouldn't marry him. Did you stop coming, Brian? Got a cough sheet. Of course they're coming. They'll always send someone. She's not coming, Daisy. She's not coming, Laura. Will you please sit down? It's me, did I get you? Yeah. 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 Liam, she's just not coming. Yes! She's not coming. She's in hospital. Got trampled by an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> that escaped from the zoo. Got a big old footprint right in the middle of her face. Isn't that right, Marita? Hey, don't call me that. Why did not even call me that? I've seen doctors in London. Well, forget it, mate. Just leave it. We've just got to wait for the teacher to come. Uh, you heard them. The teacher is not coming. Well, someone will come. A supply teacher. They're always waiting. It's been fire. Nearly six. I think we need to go to the office and get a supply. Oh. I don't mind going to the office. Shall I? Uh, I think we can risk a few more minutes. The more aggressive members of the class might be unhappy with anyone who encourages the office to send a teacher. Would you like to go and get a teacher, Brian? Um, perhaps we should just wait and see if someone comes. <gasps> teacher! Oh, oh false alarm. It's that pinky blow. You know the one? The one with the hair of Mrs. Bonington? Bonington. Bonington. He's always, always late for his lesson. Always eating, usually sausage rolls. He's <laughs> He's lost or he's forgotten something. He's not coming in here. Liam's right. Told you. Perhaps we should go and get a teacher. They'll realize sooner or later the teacher has it. Why? Oh, shut up, Robbie, you buffin. If we sit here, we'll get caught. They'll say we should have told the teacher. And I'd rather sit here for 60 minutes listening to a teacher, not even, there's only 52 minutes left in the class, than spend break or less time in here because we sat and took no action when we should have done. Take no action when you said it in the Liam, shh, give the noise down. Shut up, I haven't got a teacher. We're going to spend up all lunch and break time here. Got plans helping you? Got a table booked in the canteen. A table for two! Ooh. <laughs> Gotta get her clubbing afterwards. And just go. <gasps> or maybe oh. even at the library! Oh. <laughs> if they found out we sat in here for an hour without a teacher, they'll take an hour away from us. Or more. Breaks, lunch time, an hour after school. They won't give us a free lesson for nothing. Shut up, you buff. Yeah, shut up, you thick buff. Don't you understand? If we don't tell them that the teacher never arrived, they might not find out. And then again, they might. I'd rather be a thick buff and just stick And I'd rather spend 49 minutes listening to the teacher, then wondering about who you're going to the fuck next. No need to wonder because it's going to be you that I'm bumping every time if you go get a teacher. Can you please stop it? I'm sitting here quietly, minding my own business, chatting with my friend. His name is Sarah, by the way. As you had a travel to us, and you two boys can't even sit in the classroom for 10 minutes without starting a fight and squashing me. And, and it's 
pathetic that she should constantly leave us alone for 10 minutes. Can't you behave like, like decent human beings unless there's a teacher in the room? We don't have anyone to tell us what to do, how to behave. But just because we don't have to behave like human beings doesn't mean we can't. She stares. No. <laughs> Look, she's right. Listen to me. How long have we been sitting here waiting for a teacher to come? 10 minutes? 15? Uh, 13. Oh. Thank you, Professor. Rob. 30 minutes we have been sitting here waiting for a responsible adult. Someone to feel our growing brains, to improve our knowledge, and to make us better and more beautiful people! No one's showed up. If they knew we were sitting here on our own, if they knew we didn't have a teacher, they would send a supply teacher by now. So obviously they don't know that we're sitting here on our own. So nobody's coming. Yeah. So either we go until the office and end up copying out the book for three quarters of an hour, or we deal with it ourselves. If we fight, if we muck around, if we don't behave ourselves, we'll get caught. But if we can behave ourselves, no detention, no break time, no lunch time, no after school. Freedom, my people, freedom! What's the point of not having a teacher if we don't do anything stupid? There's gonna be a teacher here in five minutes and an angry one venture. This is not fair if we all have to stay in because we won't go and get a teacher. No, I think Gemma's right. We might just get away with it if we're sensible. But that's a big if for someone like them. Uh, <clears throat> Last. What's the point of coming to school if we're just going to sit here and do nothing? I can do that at home. Clutch my tummy and tell my mom I'm ill. Not now. And I don't have to get up at 7 o'clock and put on this stupid uniform and walk halfway across town to do it either. I can just lay in bed and groan a little bit. If I'm at school and the teacher's here, then the teacher should do what the teacher should be doing. Yeah. But if the teacher's not here, we should go and get one. The problem with that lot, Gemma, Liam, etc., is that they don't think about other people. Well, then I'd rather be doing nothing than coughing your problem. That's what supply teachers always give you. Still, it's only one lesson we're missing. The teacher will turn up for the next one, and I say we'll sit here and do nothing. You're only saying that because you don't want to get killed by Liam. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm bored. I think we should do something. Something good. Yeah, we should do something. Real good. Like what? I don't know. What's the point, Gemma? Let's just sit here and get bored like normal. We're just sitting here waiting to get caught. Oh, oh, and I was talking about what Matt was going out his drive. <gasps> yeah, but Matt really tried to kill. No! And Kenna was going out his creep. What? Oh my gosh. Even if you do it with someone, a lunch time, and after school, doesn't matter. We should uh, do something. Something good. Not just stupid kid stuff. And bigger and quiet and chat. Like we do all the time. But we're on our own. We should achieve something. We should do something good. Good? You mean like what? Let's form the silence? One day when the teacher didn't turn up, we raised £6.43 for good causes. Oh. So Chris would go to Ryan and Kelly chats him. Oh. No! And then she says, if you want to go out with me, then fine. And keep it quiet and she does. Come oh on! God. How often does this happen? How often do we get to do what we want in a lesson? Most days. I mean the rest of us, not just you. We should make the most out of it. Grab the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. so Kelly has a go at me. No, and we close to Shelly. He wants to split us. Yeah, and then Shelly has a go at Kelly, and her brother gets all garbage. And he goes around her house, and her mom says, Get out! Oh. But then he says, No. And then she says, like, huh? And then he says, like, and then. Will you not be quiet? I'm trying to do something here! Yes. Have you ever seen The Great Escape? Um, yeah. No, I don't think so. No. Are you saying we should dig a tunnel under the school walls and leg it? Uh, we might get in quite a lot of trouble for that. Also, we might need a spade. No, Professor Robbie. I'm saying that in The Great Escape, they didn't hang around and talk about Ryan and Kelly, what their mom said, and blah, blah, blah. They did something. Didn't they get caught or killed? I want to get caught for doing something good so we can walk out of here with dignity and respect, with our heads held high. What we need is a mission, a challenge. <laughs>
Yes! Like what? Well, I know how to hack in the computer network. You only think you can. So we can email dirty pictures to the teachers. What? Yes! Oh. How are you going to get into computer room? They're all locked or they've got lessons in them. Yeah, we're just going to get ourselves into more trouble. We can nick the caretaker's tallies and have races. Yeah, they'll never notice us climbing down the corridors on two large trolleys. We'll do it really quietly on tiptoe. We could give a chance at makeover. Oh. oh, brilliant. Fantastic. One time when the teacher didn't come, we sat around and did nothing. It was rubbish boring. But darling, you should have seen my eyeshadow. It was divine. <laughs> all right, all right. What's about you, my dear? What part? Oh. Look, we can do that anytime, anywhere. Don't you understand? Don't you see why this is so important? They think we've got a teacher. They think that we're being supervised, that we're under control. So we're free. We can do anything. We can go Just and break stuff. Oh, no. And the smartest something the teacher will tell us to do, we won't get done for it. For example, we could put all the rubbish in the trash can. Shall we then? I have a moment. No, why do we want to do that? That's just an example. So what do you want to do then? Do you know that really grumpy lady in the office? Yeah. What's her name? Um, Mrs. Dixon? Oh, yeah. She's horrible. Yeah. You know, so one time when I broke my arm with netball, she made me take off my makeup first before she'd even talk to me. What? Yeah. And then so I walk in there with my arm hanging off and she hands me a bottle of makeup removal. Oh no! Oh, drag out my mouth to tell her I've been late for school in a fortnight and I wouldn't walk faster if I wasn't so fast. When I went to the office and the stage, she hit me with a stick and so I stopped using my phone. Oh, she's mad at me, so what's the matter? She's got a tin of biscuits. Oh, a big tin. Ooh, she's lucky. Liam, shut up. They're not just a tin of biscuits. I've seen her. Every day at 11 o'clock, she takes out a plate uh -huh. and a little doily, mm -hmm. and then she takes the tin of biscuits out behind the cupboard on her desk. <laughs> yeah, she opens it, and then she puts a little bowl on the plate, along with a little custard cream and a little pink wiper, and then she takes it to the head with his morning coffee. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, Mr. Callahan. <laughs> <laughs> no problems. They're not just biscuits. They're head teacher biscuits. Wow. Now, I know we can nick them and then we can eat them. Yeah. Now that would be a challenge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are there any chocolate biscuits? Uh, hundreds of them. Oh. Yeah, but. She sits at the desk all day. <laughs> That's the challenge. And if she catches you, she peel you, cook you, and eat you alive. That's the challenge. But it's just stupid pointless. Sure. That's the whole point. It's stupid. Hey! Whoa. There's nothing stupid about this. Oh, so yeah. do you want to do something serious? We can start a fire and watch the whole school burn the ass. <laughs> you keep joking. You just can't tell with Ben, can you? <coughs> um, okay, let's not burn down the school. Yeah. Uh, so the biscuits it is then. Next question, who? What do you mean, who? Come on, get with the program, Liam. Who's gonna go and nick the biscuits? Duh. Snotty Tom. Shut up, Liam. Yeah, <laughs> get him, Snotty Tom. It's a pure idea, Nicking the biscuits was Ben's idea. Oh, uh, we should draw straws for it. Hey, it should be two people. A boy and a girl. I don't want to do it. No, me neither. I'm not doing it. I'm not. And that's final. I can do it. I don't care. Doesn't yeah, it'll be an ass. Yeah, we'll do it. No, it's a trust us. Why? Because this is all of us. We're all going to get in trouble if we get caught. This isn't just your Hey, you your Liam show. This is all of us. Right, Alison. Tear a couple of pages out of the middle of your English book. Yes, and then tear it into strips. Okay, we'll need one, two, three, two, five, six, seven. So, eleven for the girls and five for the boys plus one extra. Okay? Tear the pages out of my English book! Uh, no need to worry, officer. 
I'll get the strips out of my book. <laughs> <laughs> no need to tarnish your beloved book. Oh, thank you. Okay, <laughs> so. Then you can hold girls to us. Okay. Then you can hold boys. Really? Thanks, Laura. <laughs> right. Okay, boys. You come and collect the straw one at a time from Lisa. Girls, just do the same from them. Girls ready? Right. There are two short ones. One for the girls and one for the boys. Whoever gets this short straw is going on a mission. Come and collect the straw. Anyone? I'll go first then. Come. Okay. No mission for you. Then you take yours. Of course, the longer you leave it, the bigger the chance that you're getting a short straw. Excuse me, that's not exactly true because... Not if Professor and go take your straw. Me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes! I do. Grown a bit. Uh, yeah. Louder. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Um. Good enough. Right, Allison. Snotty Tom is ill, and you need to take him to the office to see Mrs. Dixon. The dragon that guards the biscuits that are rightfully ours. Yes. yes. That's the one. And when Mrs. Dixon takes Tom into the first aid room for a little lie down, you go behind her desk, open the cupboard, and grab the tin of biscuits. Big tin of biscuits! The huge big tin of biscuits! Yeah. And what I will do with them? Stuff up my jumper! Take your bag, your rucksack. There's plenty of room in there. Why would I do that? Why would I take my rucksack to the office? Oh, you can't leave it in here. I bet it's got valuables in it. <laughs> Someone might go through and steal stuff. Good point, okay? Well sorted then. Wow, I didn't think it would be that easy. Allison, empty out your bag. Make room for the treasure. But what about if they ask what the lesson I brought from Otto? Mm -hmm. And the teacher's name? Tell them it's a supply teacher. You haven't had them before and you don't know them. Oh, you've got an answer for everything, haven't you? But it's not you that got to go. It's the huge sin of Oh, look, well. she used to be so nice and quiet. Anything wrong, though? Look, it'll be fine. If Mrs. Dixon is out of the way, take her big tin of biscuits and shove it in your rucksack. If she isn't, you don't. You come back and it's no problem. Except we don't get any biscuits. And everybody hates you. Okay. No, they don't. What's that black wall with the teacher always says? It's not the winning, it's the taking part. No guts, no glory. No biscuits, no glory. All set then? Okay, so remember, Tom. Stomach, face, groan. Ah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Allison. Biscuit tin in the cupboard, biscuit tin in the rucksack. But can we practice? I mean, how big is this tin of biscuits? <coughs> but what if it won't fit in my rucksack? If it can fit your pencil case and all those colored pens, I think it can fit a tin of biscuits. <laughs> He's got it. 
Um, but what do I say when I get there? Look, repeat it after me. Okay. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry to trouble you, Mrs. Dick. I'm terribly sorry to trouble you, Mrs. Dick. But some of you are suffering from a most terrible thing. But some is suffering from... <laughs> no, 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 joke. You just okay. say that Tom's not feeling well and the teacher asked him to take him to the office. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom is not well, the teacher asked him to take him to the office. Tom is not well, the teacher asked him to take him to the office. He is not well, Tom asked the office to take me to the teacher. Good enough. Yes? Yeah. Okay. okay. Good enough. Just Well, are you sick? Don't you feel well? I'm fine. I just need to go to the office. I mean, look at her. You can clearly see she's not feeling well. Well, she can't stand up straight. What's the matter with her? Oh, brilliant. We've sent a couple of fakers to the office saying that they're ill and now we've got a real one. You can't go to the office, Kaylee. They'll send something up. We'll get so down there. I need to go to the office. That's all. Look, sit down. Have a drink of water. I don't need to drink water. I just need to go to the office. Stay there and don't move. Lisa, keep an eye on her and don't let her go. <laughs> I oh, don't she pushed Lisa. need she pushed to sit Lisa. down. I just need to go to the office. She can't go. If there are already two children in the office ill, the office woman will suspect something. She'll start talking to teachers. Somebody will come. But if she's feeling ill, I mean, she looks ill. She looks really ill. She's got to stay here, at least until Allison's naughty Tom come back. I think we, we can sort her out just before the end of the lesson. I've got some privacy tomorrow, guys. She's faking, I reckon. Attention seeking. Mm -hmm. um, wait up. I got some privacy tomorrow for you. I don't need privacy tomorrow. I haven't got a headache. I just need to go to the office. What's wrong then? Nothing! I'm diabetic. What's that? Bad? What does it mean? Like, I know what it means, but what do we need and what do you do? I skipped breakfast, so I need a juice or something, a drink, uh, something sweet, and not diet. Why didn't you say? Everybody, who's got a packed lunch with them? I ate mine on the way to school. Okay, we need juice or drink, no diet with sugar. Well, I've got juice. Oh, what is that? I've got the water. I've got the I've got orange juice. Can you all stop staring at me and leave me alone? It's like being a monkey in a flaming <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely doing better. 
Yeah, I think she's back to normal. Oh, it's like a magic, magic potion. Uh, anyone got a sandwich, chicken, hat, or fruit? Fruit? I got a sandwich and cheese and oh my god, mom, what is that? Oh. Why did you put it in there? Oh. Oh. It, it, it looks like real kill. Well, whatever. I have a banana. Really? <laughs> yeah, you know people eat it. Better now? Yeah, thanks. So, right, what happens if you don't get the juice and stuff? What happens? Ambulance. I never knew you were a diabetic. And you still don't. And if you tell anyone, you will be in the ambulance. Okay? So? Behind her, the one with the biscuits in. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Huh? They're biscuits. Uh, oh. The doors were shut, so oh. I didn't even know if they were in there. And you said? And I said, I'm sorry to bother you, Mrs. Dixon, but the teacher sent me with Tom. He's not feeling well, and Tom's standing there, holding his tummy and groaning a bit. Holding his tummy and groaning a bit. Ah! <laughs> and she looks really cross and says, Which teacher? And I say, mm -hmm. I don't know, miss. It's a supply. I think Miss Barclay is ill. And she believes it. <gasps> oh, yes! yes! And she says, It's Tom. Is it, is it your sinuses again? Have you got yet another headache? And I'm just standing there holding my tummy and groaning. Ah! So, what did you do? What did she say? Uh, Nothing. Just goes... <clears throat> and it all goes quiet. And she says... Well, you know I can't give you anything for it, don't you? And I say... Tom thought a glass of water would make him feel better. And to lay down for five minutes in the first age of So she looks at him, and looks, and looks, and finally she says... Okay, come along then. Yes. And takes him to the first age room. Okay. What's she doing? Yeah. They're doors. Ah, they're yes. Doors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gets me a glass of water. So I'm standing in office by myself, looking at the cupboard with the biscuits in. <laughs> and and I couldn't move. I tried. I just wanted to put one foot forward and then another and then another. And and I couldn't move. <laughs> and and the phone starts ringing. Oh, ring, 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 ring. And she comes charging into the first aid room to answer it. Hello? <laughs> well, I'm rather busy right now. Is it urgent? Are you sure? Okay. Where well, hold on. So she disappears into the back room and starts rattling with fire cabinets and stuff. And Tom's leaning out of the first aid room, watching me doing nothing and trying to get me move. Come on, get to the cupboard. Yeah. And I finally make myself move. Yes! Yes! yes. Get this in out and put it on her desk. <laughs> and Mrs. Dixon comes back. I can't find him. I have to call you back. Yes, before lunchtime. Wait, where are you? <laughs> and Ash is going to start asking me questions that I can't answer. Tom saves me. Mrs. Dixon? I think I'm going to be sick. So she runs off to see Tom, and all you can hear is... There's some bows in here somewhere. Don't be sick until I found them. Uh, they're always on this shelf. We'll be moving things here. Try to keep calm. And as I'm 
to go stop the tenants in my rucksack. Guess who appears? Who? Ooh. Mr. Bonington. Oh. Yeah. oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Mrs. Dixon? I'm Mrs. Dixon. She's the first angel. Oh, thank you, darling. I say, so he wanders in, nicely blocking the whole doorway. And all I can hear is stop shouting. I can't keep it down much longer. Mrs. Dixon, I'm going to spew. And Mrs. Dixon, turn the place upside down looking for a ball. Mr. Bonington asking her something and her shouting back at him. Mrs. Dixon, have you got a spare sandwich? Or a sausage roll? <laughs> Any ketchup, perhaps? I'm going to spew. Uh, Mrs. Dixon. I cannot run anymore! Oh, I believe a full English breakfast is out of the question. <laughs> so I tried to so I tried to jump the tin into my rucksack, uh -huh. but it won't go. No! But then I realized it's better not to take the tin. No! Wait, no. so I opened the lid off, uh -huh. tipped the biscuit into my rucksack, and put it back into the cupboard. Yes. Easy! So wait. And I wait, uh -huh. and I say, um, sorry Mr. Dixon, but could you tell please so that I'm going back to my lesson? And then suddenly it all goes quiet. Mm. And I can hear Tom saying, Actually, I feel much better at Mrs. Dixon. <laughs> I think I'm going to back to my lesson. <sighs> so out comes Tom, and then we'll leave. What did Mrs. Dixon do? Um, uh, I don't know. Sure. I didn't look back. Oh. And Tom says to me on the way back. So you remember she couldn't find me a boat to be sick in? Yeah. I think this might keep her busy. Oh. Nice work, Snotty. <laughs> so here we are, and here oh. is hey. a custard cream. Hey. Anyone want one? Oh. Or a four bun? Oh. Or a big way bun? Oh. Awesome. Like chickens waiting to be slaughtered. 
Like turkeys at Christmas time. Well, oh, okay, okay. But, I think we get the picture. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we stole. Nah, me neither. But we did a good thing, didn't we? Oh, my mom will go ballistic if she ever finds out. <laughs> uh, mine too. Uh, I feel sick. Do you? Kinda. I mean, it was exciting and scary, and it felt good when we came back. Everyone cheering, being happy with us. We we would we'd have done it, and nobody thought we would. Nobody thought we could. It's not at all my Elsa, just a pair of goodies goodies. Send them out to stuff. Oh, they look really stupid. But we did it. We did. It. Uh, but now all I can think is about whether we're gonna get caught. I mean, there is. 20 people in here who knows that we did it. They are all going to tell someone, and that someone will tell someone else, and then we're gonna get caught, and we're gonna get in a big trouble. Yeah, I'm never doing this kind of thing again. N never ever. Never. Oh, I mean, it was great. I mean, it felt great when we done it, when we came back being all popular, but now, 10 minutes later, it's all gone and, and forgotten. And you are just left um, with the taste of the taste of yes, yes. No guilt. Um, hey, what's the time? Two minutes to go. To what? Till end of the lesson, we do. Okay. Yeah. Did you think we were early? Do you? Of course not, moron. We have to do late. Like there's a teacher here. Wait until the bell rings. Hey, do you think we get away with it? Well, duh. There's no teacher here, is there? Well, doesn't mean we've gotten away with it forever. They'll find out. They always find out. Oh, come on. No one died. No one even got hurt. Just a few missing biscuits. They're too busy to care about us doing nothing for now. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. I had a custard cream, thank you very much. So did I. Just be careful, Liam. Too many custard creams for you. And you won't just be thick in the head. Oh, Ooh. that's good. So was it what you wanted? What? The last. Was it something to tell grandchildren about? I don't know. Uh, it was all right, wasn't it? It was good. I Ooh. found out stuff I never knew about people before. Sat in the same room with them for years and haven't even talked to them. Yes. I didn't even know that girl's name before today. It's better than that English lesson anyway. Yeah. This barco will come back. Or the day after. They always come back. Yeah. Ten seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heidi, what number is the big hand pointing to? So that's it then. Metro. Back to normal. Yep. Was it worth it, Liam? What do you mean worth it? Worth it if we get caught? I mean, was it better than if we had gone and gotten a teacher? What's changed? Nothing. The clever kids are still clever. The thick kids are still thick. No more lesson. I think I learn something most days. Hell, oh, I learn something most days. But it's not what the teachers want me to learn. The clever kids come to school and come out clever. The thick kids come out thick. Maybe a bit less thick. But that's how it is. It's all right for you. You're not rubbish at anything. Whatever you do, you're good at it. Try being thick and see how you like school. Try being a failure. Every day. Oh, yeah. Fun? No, not much. So I get good at being bad. I'm an expert. I get better at it every day. Do you know how many times the school phoned my mom last week? Six. That's once a day. Twice in one day. And how many times did they call your mom and tell how good you are? Once? Less? Yeah. Well, you're not that bad. I mean, you're not threatening to thump me anymore. Oh, I can't be bad without a teacher. If they want me to be bad, then they're going to have to send a teacher to the lesson.
hoping they're going to come back in a minute. <laughs> really. Come in, come in, come in, come on. Okay, well, first of all, thank you for coming. Um, there have been four performances of this, and I've seen two of them. And I thought that I laughed just as much at the second one as I did the first one. I thought it was fantastic. A school like this has to have really good drama, and I think we've seen today how good the drama can be here. So first of all, I want to thank Mrs. Ellison, wherever she's gone. Oh, there she is. <laughs> fantastic um, but I think what you've done here is fantastic and I mean this really honestly because I've seen a lot of drama in schools and what you've done is the most difficult kind of drama to do because it's all in one place there's not much movement and when I read this script a few months ago I thought this is going to be tough because if you don't really act it's going to be a bit dull and this sort of thing only works if every single person in the cast stays in character the whole time so it doesn't matter how many lines you have, if you switch off, it doesn't work. And you were all switched on, and it was brilliant. The whole atmosphere that was created here, it just looked like one of my normal lessons, but without a teacher, which was uh, <laughs> quite interesting. So I thought you did a great job. I thought it was funny, and I thought this is... I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing you do some more of this next year. And I'll let you into a secret, actually, that nobody knows. My secretary keeps a secret supply of Jaffa cakes in her office. For me. <laughs> OK? But if they go missing... I know where I'm coming to look for um, So, well done to everybody. I do actually want to thank someone else. I've been to lots of shows in the last two weeks, Kindergarten, Key Stage 1, Key Stage 2, and one person has been at every single one, which is Mr. Artyom. Uh, Team. It's, a, it's a team thing. So, and also, thank you very much for coming. I think you enjoyed it. I get the feeling you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been great. But thank you for coming. Uh, and again, well done to all the boys and girls in this. Let's give them one more round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so pleased I'm going to give you the next two days off. Okay? <laughs> 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 <laughs>